We're meeting UOW alumni Ray. He's a data analyst, an entrepreneur, a musician, and one of UOW's youngest scholarship donors. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Tell me who you are. Uh, my name's Ray. I'm a former student alumni of University of Wollongong and current donor. How does it feel to be back on campus today? Because you haven't been here for a while, I imagine. Yeah, it's been a little while. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Really nice. So what brought you to UOW? So I finished high school in Nowra. Didn't know what kind of job I might get or anything like that. So I thought I'd better go to uni and do some study. And you came here to study geoscience. Did 17 or 18 year old Ray know what he wanted to do when he finished uni? No, not at all. So can you tell me about the Ray McGill scholarship? Um, something I set up uh, a couple of years ago uh, to assist Indigenous students uh, to get the opportunity to come to university, essentially. Yeah. What was the catalyst for you to start that scholarship? It seems like education is a great way to uh, help reduce poverty cycles. And I lived in the Housing Commission when I was a teenager and ended up into this, this position of, of being quite fortunate. And how that came about was essentially I had a, a degree, which got me a bunch of jobs. So why did you choose to, to create this scholarship with Wollongong Uni? Um, well, because this is where it, it started for me in my journey. Like Wollongong is an important place for a university. Yeah. It just, just made sense. We are pulling up to one of the old buildings that you would have been in, which is where the rock collection is. Yeah, so yeah. shall we go check it out? Let's go have a look. Um, it's grown. It is bigger than I remember it. So it would have been about 20 years ago that you would have started here. What was happening at the time in the world? The Iraq war was happening. There was a lot of debates in the uni bar and being at the university was good to get exposed to different points of view of it. And, yeah. you know, but it's important to be aware of things happening in your world. Um, yeah, it was an interesting time. I was a bit more interested in the beer at the uni bar than <laughs> much else there. <that. laughs> yeah. What kind of things did you like to do on campus? Uh, we started the Wollongong Uni Metal Music Society. Uh, but yeah, I also played at the uh, the University Cricket Club yeah. for, for a number of years. Yeah. You're doing the heavy metal stuff and then you're also playing cricket at yeah. the same time. Kind of a bit of a juxtaposition there. You black clothes and you white clothes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we're actually across the road from the cricket pitch right now. So maybe we'll go over and have a look at, out there and see if it sparks any memories. Yeah, for some you. of my triumphs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how does it feel being back here now? A lot of good memories of, not victories, but just uh, of nice Saturday afternoons, you know? Yeah. What was your team? So UOW Blues. The pride runs strong then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the students that you provide scholarships for, what do you want to see them achieve? Even just getting the chance to start is, is great. Yeah, hopefully they can go on to inspire other people in their, their families or communities and to, to go to university as well and the circuit breaker in a probably cycles that exist around the place. Someone who maybe doesn't have the role models of people before them that have gone to uni, what would you tell someone that's in that position? Well, you can always be the first. If you apply yourself, you can you can get through and it opens up a lot of doors. Um, don't, don't die wondering, give it a shot. Well, thank you so much for joining us. How did it feel being back on campus? Yeah, really nice, really yeah. nice. All right, well, we've got to get you back to Melbourne, so let's head off. <laughs>